My name is Jan Benham, founder and CEO of the Institute of Aromatherapy and Aroma Shop. Today I'm going to talk about emulsifiers in the making of creams and lotions, specifically stearic acid and ceter of 20. So in order to make a cream or a lotion, you're putting together oil and water. And of course oil and water do not mix, so you need an emulsifier in order to bring them together. Now at the Aroma Shop we do have various emulsifiers that are already prepared with various natural chemicals from the plant world that help to bring everything so that all in one, which means you just use one product, mix it in with the oil and you heat it up, melt it down and you heat up the water and then you bring them together and hence you have a oil as so you have a cream or a lotion. So I'm going to demonstrate that in the next video. Today that we're working with individual chemicals. So stearic acid is a natural acid from, usually from soap making produces it. It's from, uh, produced from coconut oil, this particular stearic acid. It comes from fatty acids, so it can be produced also from animal fat as well. We only carry the plant-derived stearic acid at the aroma shop. So what does stearic acid do? It's an emollient, so it's really good on the skin. It's a surfactant and of course it's an emulsifier. But by itself it doesn't work, it does need other products with it like ceteryl alcohol or ceteryl 20. So the main benefits of stearic acid is, as well as being an emulsifier on the skin, it softens and smooths the skin surface while also helping to maintain the skin barrier. And it also is used to thicken products and improve the texture. So where we uh, use that a lot is in, as well as in creams and lotion, we also use it in making our uh, cosmetic pencils. So at the beginning when I first started making cosmetic pencils, I would use uh, canalba wax or candelilla wax, which are both natural plant waxes, uh, mixed with oil, like jojoba oil and shea butter. And then I would add the pigment and would make the pencils. The biggest problem that we had with the pencils was as soon as you needed to sharpen them, they broke very easily. They were very brittle. And I found that once we added a little bit of stearic acid to the formula, it made it a lot easier. The pencil is a lot more pliable and less likely to break. And the same with lipsticks. So we use this in our lipstick, a steric acid in our lipstick as well. It makes the whole, um, it makes the, oops, there we go. So this is a nude lipstick and it's mainly uh, castor oil, shea butter, candelilla wax, which is the natural plant wax. There's beeswax in this one. And there's also Nature Derm IL, which is kind of like a fractionated coconut oil, which also adds a nice emollient and property to the lipstick. Of course you've got the pigments in there and then we also have some stearic acid which again helps with the um, uh, pliability of the lipstick as well and also adds the properties of being moisturizing on the skin. So um, that is basically stearic acid and we do, when we order stearic acid or set of 20 we do give a recipe card on how to make a lotion. Now this lotion is a very liquid lotion, so if you want to make it more of a cream, you just leave out some of the water. So for example, in this uh, recipe, we have 50 gram of distilled water, and yes, we do weigh it. And I would suggest you go down to about 40 gram in order to make it a little bit more creamy. So this is a recipe card that you get for free whenever you order steric acid or set of 20. So, with Setter of 20, um, what Setter of 20 does, as well as being an emulsifier, it, um, it makes this emulsifier more stable. So, it has to be used with another, obviously, another emulsifier, such as glycerol stearate. 
And also, but what it also does, it also helps with penetration of the skin, um, the product. So if you have set of 20 in your moisturizer, it will help if you add, for example, herbal extracts or essential oils, or other goodies that are good for your skin. If you add, um, if, you, if you've got a set of 20 in there, it will help with the absorption of those products into your skin in order to be able to help conditions such as eczema, psoriasis, and acne even. So that is just a little bit about the different emulsifiers. If you wish to know more, um, of course, these don't go into stearic acid. I have two books that I bought out uh, specifically for cosmetic making. The original book, this is the original book of the Creamy Craft of Cosmetic Making. It's now in a different format and it also has uh, updated information. But this, also, this goes more into using the Lynette wax, making creams and lotions and a skincare line. And then we have the Baby Boomers Beauty Bible, um, which goes into a little bit more detail and a few more recipes and going into hair care as well. So those are another couple of books for your, if you're interested and you can get them on Amazon or through Kindle and sometimes we do special offers where they're free on Kindle. Anyway, and next I'm going to be making a uh, lotion with these two emulsifiers. I'm now going to make a basic lotion using two emulsifiers together, Ceter of 20 and Stearic Acid. This recipe is in a free recipe card that you get whenever you order stearic acid or center of 20. And it's for a very liquid lotion base. So it's for a hydration lotion. And in it, we've got, uh, we have the oil and wax in one pot, and then we have the water components in another pot. So it's a phase A and a phase B cycle. So in this pot, we have 10 grams of stearic acid, 5 grams of sete of 20, 5 grams of shea butter, which is really a lovely emollient on the skin, and I have Nature Derm IL 15 grams. So Nature Derm IL is a bit like a fractionated coconut oil. It's very light and doesn't leave a, leave a greasy feel on the skin, which is why I love it. You can always exchange the Nature Derm IL for jojoba oil or sweet almond oil, depending upon your skin. So jojoba oil is a really good bet for most skins because it works for both dry and oily skin. But if you've got very dry skin, you can use apricot kernel oil or sweet almond oil are both great for dry skin. And for oily skin, if you wish to do for oily jojoba oil again, or, or hazelnut oil, which is very light on the skin. So that's in phase A. So we have Nature Derm IL, 15 gram, stearic acid, 10 gram, set of 20, 5 gram, and shea butter. So that's all the oils and waxes. And then in this other part, I've got distilled water. Now, in the recipe, it calls for 50 gram of distilled water but um, it's very runny, so I would suggest you put 40 gram of distilled water. You could also uh, exchange the water for, say, rose water or rose hydrosol or even cucumber hydrosol. So you can always exchange the waters for any other waters, as long as they're distilled and not just from the tap. And then I've also put in here five gram of hyaluronic acid to help with the emulsifying process. Now what this does, after we, what we do now, we're going to heat these up to the same degree of temperature. So you, uh, what I generally do is I have a pot, um, a saucepan filled with water, pop this into, it's a bain-marie basically, and I just heat it up until it's melted, and I do the same with this. And when I next come back, I'm going to show you it melted, and I'm also going to show you the finished product. Um, now, if you just made this product and don't do anything with it for preserving, it will go moldy very fast, within a week. So I do suggest you adding a preservative, and um, there's a number of preservatives I suggest here. You've got grapefruit seed extract, which is a very natural uh, supplement, and it's just one teaspoon you would add to the whole amount, so it's not very much. 
Orgia Guard, which is a very nice emulsifier. Um, there's now Lucidel, which is uh, basically a bacteria, believe it or not. And then uh, there's also Neopress PE. So you can have, uh, there's many um, choices of preservatives that you can use and then there's more as well. So you do need to add that at the end. So I'll be back to you in a moment. So I've heated up the oil and wax that is melted and the water component. And now I'm going to pour the water component into the oil wax. Now what I did do in the little break was I, and then you just stir until it's uh, cooled down. So what I did do in the break was bring in some of the ingredients to give you an idea. The shea butter I use is um, is a refined shea butter, naturally refined. It's not being it's not being got had chemicals added. Some of them have bleach added. So this one is just sun bleached, and it's also made sure that you don't have any grittiness in your product either. Uh, so if you get the shea butter that you can find on the marketplace, it can be very gritty, and you really don't want that in your creams or your lipstick or anything else. So that's my shea butter. And also doesn't have an, an, a strong odor either so when it gets older it will go rancid and will start to smell so you don't want a rancid product either this is a set of 20 and stearic acid and then we have uh, the nature derm il i didn't bring the hyaluronic acid out but the nature derm il which is very liquidy um, like a fractionated coconut oil style mct oil and then I'm going to use, personally, I'm going to use the grapefruit seed extract for preserving. I find it works really, really well. So I, rather than you sit here and watch me stir it until it's cooled down, we'll go on to the next bit. So now it's cooled down quite a bit, and now we can start to add our goodies to the lotion or cream. It will thicken up overnight so it will get much thicker this will be more like a between a cream and a lotion so you you can keep this obviously you would add your preservative uh, one teaspoon of grapefruit seed extract or lucidal or neopress or geogard or any other preservative you might have make sure it's full spectrum and you can leave it and use it as you need. So for example, if you wanted this lotion to be of a therapeutic quality property, for example, you wanted to make a lotion that was good for um, an aching joint, like an aching knee, knee pain, then you could use this as, because it quickly absorbs, it absorbs much easier than oil. So then you would add your essential oils that will help to relieve the aches and pains, such as, sage or juniper berry, uh, rosemary, they're all anti-inflammatory oil, essential oils that help to reduce the inflammation around the joints. So that's one, one option. If you're going to do it for skin care, uh, the essential oils I particularly love is, uh, this is carrot seed essential oil. Now carrot seed essential oil is wonderful for, a, for mature skin. It helps to reduce wrinkles and has so many other properties. I'm not going to go to every single one now, but definitely good for mature skin and wrinkles. Now it's got a very strong odor. So I would only use to this, this is about 100 gram, 100 gram of product. So if I was going to put this into a smaller pot, say a 50 gram pot, which is normal, 30 gram to 50 gram is a normal moisturizer size, I would only add one drop of carrot seed essential oil. That's all you need. They're very powerful, these essential oils. And you've got to be very earing on the side of caution, especially when you're using the moisturizer on a daily basis. Very powerful, very helpful as well though. So I would add to 50 ml, which is half the amount of this lotion, cream lotion, I would add one drop of carrot seed oil, essential oil, and oh, another note, um, there's carrot seed essential oil and there's carrot root carrier oil. And they are, some people often get them mixed up. 
So the carrot root oil is also really good for mature skin and it colors the lotion beautifully. And it can be added in, actually now it's cool, it can be added in now. And what it does, you only add a few drops. Again, it's very powerful, very strong colorant and it would start to stain your clothes if you had too, too much in there. So you just add a few drops into your lotion or cream and what it does, it doesn't just color, it colors it beautiful, but it also adds a lot of property. So it's carrots, uh, carrots basically infused in sunflower oil and really good for dry skin and for eczema, psoriasis, uh, irritated skin. It's uh, super for the skin. So that's one product. So it's different from, and it doesn't have the smell of carrot seed. So they are two different products. This is an oil, infused oil. This is a carrot seed essential oil. And I would suggest only one drop to 50 ml. Then you could add uh, some sweet orange oil. This will take away from the unpleasantness of the carrot seed oil. And then you could add a lot more. So you could add up to say six drops of sweet orange. This is organic sweet orange essential oil. And one of my favorite oils is geranium, and this is um, a special rose scented geranium that is very good for oily and dry skin. It balances the skin, so it's very good for both oily and dry skin. So if you've got any questions, please get back to me, and have a great day wherever you may be, and it's bye for now.